now. What is going on everyone? This is Zach Banigoo here. Join with, you all know and love him, Sonic0731. And we just got back from seeing the Sonic movie! Sonic movie! Woo! We got the same shirts. Twinsies! <laughs> there. <laughs> anyway, so we got back from seeing the Sonic movie and there was... I guess I start off with this. There was a lot of worry. Like, uh, first of all, when they first showed the f with that first trailer, Sonic looked, I mean, hideous. I mean, just nightmare feel. Of course. Uh, human just, teeth. Uh, yeah, of course, just after seeing this film, I was just saying to myself, I like this version better than the other one. So <laughs> this version I will, Sonic, I will yeah. be honest upon that. The other version was just like, uh, yeah, it could have been a little bit worse. I would have up and walked out of the theater but at that point. But good, good, this... for, good for them. They did the redesign. They fixed them. They listened to the complaints. Oh, thank you. They yeah. listened to the fans. Yeah, thank you, Jeff. Yes, and he looks amazing. He looks like Sonic. Absolutely. Like, and <laughs> the antics, the um, <laughs> attitude, the... Um, <laughs> the um, generosity and such of Sonic yeah. himself, absolutely incredible. So, yep, uh, just to give you guys a heads up, we're not going to do any spoilers. Or Title anything. right here or here. Not sure how to look in the video. Unless you're Spoiler looking. Spoiler free. <laughs> unless you're looking right above and the video is like right down below. Uh, the title should be, or I guess above, depending on how they're looking I. at it. <laughs> it's spoiler free. You'll see right in the thumbnail. Spoiler free. We won't yes. spoil anything. Um so anyway, so let's kick off. Let's talk about, well, let's start off with this. As a, as just a movie critic itself, as most would see it, you can argue maybe fairly average movie or basic story. Uh, so maybe a solid 7 out of 10 or something. Yeah. Like, I mean, it felt like uh, one of those fun, like family-friendly 90s movies from back Definitely. in the day. Definitely, yes. But that's not how we're going to judge this. No. We're going to judge this on a video game perspective, and both of us... Especially this guy. We grew <laughs> up, you know, with Sonic. Especially, Played yeah. Sonic when we were kids. I mean, it's just he's one of the major video game icons next to maybe Mario. Seriously, one of the most recognizable faces in gaming. Right, and just playing Sonic as a kid, just seeing this now on the big screen has brought me to joy and such. And I'm absolutely excited because, you know, I definitely am proud to say I can't wait to have this on DVD when it first comes out. I honestly oh, can't wait <laughs> for it to come out on DVD. Oh, I, like, I don't blame tonight you. Tonight <laughs> was good. I can't wait to see it again tomorrow. <laughs> or, well, yeah, the it. Sunday the 16th, because I mean, we're recording on the 15th, but I mean, honest to God, it is phenomenal. If you guys have thought something different out of it, Check it out for yourselves. I highly recommend this. To me, personally, I would say 9 out of 10 and stuff. From that perspective. But from my perspective. Maybe yeah. I say 8, but I mean, uh, I'm a little more... I'm a little more critical, so oh, yes, <laughs> good course. cop, bad cop. Sorry. Yeah. So we do. Yes. I did make some notes. Yeah, actually let's make some notes this, yeah. and everything. And I'd like to start off with Jim Carrey. Okay. So Jim Carrey. Oh my God. They picked the perfect role. They picked the perfect guy to play the role of Robotnik and everything. Like, his antics and everything, his kooky, funky <laughs> self and everything, like you would see in the Ace Ventura movies. Yeah. Spot on. Like, let's put it this way. Spot yeah, on. Yeah, Robotnik, Eggman. He's a very eccentric, crazy, mad scientist guy in games. I mean, you got Jim Carrey. He's, he had it all. He had, like, the, the yeah, his antics is, like, uh, crazy snapping at everyone. You know, like, giving the uh, giving the latte. Here's your latte with goat's milk. Uh, do you like that? Of course I do. I love the way you make them. <laughs> <laughs> like, and also, Jim Carrey's been off the map for quite a while now. He really hasn't done much since yeah. a long time. And he, he's back. Jim Carrey is back. All his, like, zany glory. Oh. And, like, back like, not, like you said, like, Ace Ventura... Or uh, the mask, or you know, this is wackiness, and he's definitely a guy. Uh, he definitely brings a hilarious twist, like this Eggman. He, he was definitely. born to play Eggman. He was definitely <laughs> born to play Eggman. He is and just the way. This movie's worth it almost on its own just to see him. Yeah, just like, the way he, <laughs> just the way he acted in this film, uh, is uh, one of the reasons that this brought me in. Like I never thought 
Who would play Eggman? Who would play Robotnik? Who would be the perfect actor to play this? Like, yeah, who like... other than Jim Carrey? Like, who else other than Jim Carrey would play the part of Robotnik? Yeah, I was kind of confused. Honest opinion? Yeah. I mean, honestly, nobody. This is the man for the job. And I can agree to Yeah, that. I was kind of confused at first. I guess solely he didn't have the look. Like, he doesn't have the weight. He's a skinny guy. Right. But then I thought, you know what? It makes sense now because his energy and his wackiness and his, like, like Robotnik's insane. And right. Jim Carrey, you play an insane person. <laughs> yeah, with 300 IQ, I would say. 100 see IQ, why you're too. Insane. <laughs> so. Jim Carrey himself even said, so this guy has a 300 IQ. I had to do some homework before this. <laughs> <laughs> so he, he was amazing. So definitely worth. The per great bad guy. Definitely worth it just to see him. So, yeah. next we got... All right. So, Sonic curling into a furry little soccer ball with eyeballs. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Oh, my God. He's the signature move. He will curl up. <laughs> like I there's... just want to carry him. I, I want to carry no, him No all. spoilers, but there's a scene like he's hiding on the couch or something, and he's curled mm -hmm. up. He's looking a little bit. You see his eyeballs. Just and he's boink. curled up to the ball. <laughs> Like you said, it's your mood. He's rolling around. Um, sorry. We yeah, and next. Sonic's signature moves, I'd like to point into that. Spot on, in a way. Yeah. Which kind of is a part of the score. So that's why the 9 out of 10 with me is such. But, I mean, earlier I said 10 out of 10. So, I mean, I see, just I seeing I... some of the signature moves may not have been spot on. I thought at the moment I was going to see him... Like, uh, stepping around, just standing up, stepping around, like, um, excuse me, I'm waiting. Well, that's when you don't do anything in the game. I mean, that, that didn't really warrant the see on screen. No, <laughs> but and then when he's idle for, like, a couple of minutes and he's just sitting there standing. Yeah, yeah. But the I'm waiting was from the original Jaleel the original. White. Right. Uh, <laughs> Adventures of Sonic or Sonic the Hedgehog. So, right, so, uh, so, yeah. so next we have Raccoons Are Everywhere. There's a lot of raccoons, yes. That's so. Just know you'll see some raccoons going into this. Yes, <laughs> okay. definitely. <laughs> so, gotta send some love to Rocket Raccoons, so. though. <laughs> he has nothing to do with this. Well, I mean, awesome he, if he did, though. But. He probably did. He was just incognito. That's all. Oh, I yes. Get it. okay. <laughs> it's not actually canon, or we don't know. It's just... Okay. okay. <laughs> Next up, we have Ben Schwartz is incredible as the Blue Blur, <sighs> voicing the Sonic. He He's perfect. He sounds Absolutely. he sounds just like Sonic. Definitely. He sounds that's exactly how Sonic should sound. Yes. Like from the games. He the energy, the the personality he brought. Definitely. He, he was downright hilarious. I mean, uh there's definitely definitely a lot of good laughs. I definitely. mean some get borderline cheesy, I guess, for the most part, but, but it was you a gotta his character, you know. It was always like so a yeah. You gotta yeah, you gotta love it for that. I mean, you know, this <laughs> this you don't make movies like this. It was kinda it, like like I said earlier, it's like watching just this fun, family friendly, fun action like uh, comedy, uh, you know, like you see in the nineties, pretty much. Right. And and I except appreciate there's it for no that. floppy disks. There's no nope. floppy disks to save the no, world. It takes place in present day. <laughs> <laughs> it takes place in present yeah. day, and everything. Uh, Agent Stone is a great assistant. Agent uh, Stone, yeah. <laughs> Lee Majub, I think his name is. Hang on a second. Let me take a look. Um, <laughs> Lee, hang on a second. <laughs> we'll have to edit this bit. <laughs> yeah, Lee Majudub. I don't even know if I'm saying his name correctly. He's but the same. Uh, Agent Stone in Sonic movie. Oh my God, phenomenal! <laughs> he was, very, he was good. <laughs> very funny. So Lee. Lee Majodul, or you know what, I'll just say his first name, Lee. Lee, Lee was incredible as Agent Stone. Now, I don't recall Robotnik ever having a... No, he did have an assistant at, in the comics and everything. Oh, Snively. he's a character from the comics. Not exactly, oh, no. Sorry, Agent Stone wasn't a character up until this film. Oh, okay. So, Robotnik's first assistant was Snively in the comics uh, and everything. He didn't have an assistant in the game at all. So, or like uh, some of the TV sorry. shows, it was just the comics that he had his assistant. Watch, in. watch them bring him to the games now. <laughs> I mean, which if, I want to I think they had <laughs> Snively in like the old '90s cartoons. I don't. 
Or maybe they'll have Lee. Maybe they'll have Lee now. The new Sonic games that they come out with more. Oh, that which was no complaints for me if they do that. Yeah, <laughs> and some of the fan art with Lee as a as Agent Stone as a rabbit and everything. I've seen those on Twitter. Oh, okay. That came out adorable. So interesting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All, right. All right. Robotnik is a savage. Savage. Oh, his insults is. <laughs> Are you really in charge here? Yep. <laughs> no. Hey, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What was your name again? Uh, uh, Colonel. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. <laughs> so definitely, um, spot on with his insults. Pin yourself to the wall. <laughs> oh yeah, piece of wall. <laughs> <laughs> right there. So, uh. How about this one? Sonic can square dance. He sure can. He sure can. I'm impressed. See the movie to see why. Oh, yeah. We're going to give you plenty of little hints why you should go see it. Okay. <laughs> um, bikers don't like hipsters, all kidding aside. <laughs> no, they don't. You'll see what we mean. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. It's like Trevor with hipsters. I don't like hipsters. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know what? Next, next category to bring up. Uh, we're not going to spoil every detail, obviously, but some of the scenes where he's moving super fast, mm -hmm. awesome, amazing, so cool to watch. Yeah. It was just ugh, some of these scenes, uh, some of these action scenes where he's moving fast and everything. Like when he's in the bar is amazing, and another when he's in a fight with uh, with uh, Doctor Robotnik um, and the rockets on top of the. Uh, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. And Bank uh, America building. No. That, it's something it's something in LA it's uh, no not LA San Francisco oh San Francisco sorry um, I, don't oh. know, I don't know why I said that <laughs> <laughs> but anyway those are amazing we're not going to spoil too much details about that like no, I said yeah. spoiler free so yeah. next <laughs> like Sonic and Tom can take on a fight oh yeah that they can and you'll see why in the film and you know that character Tom which is pretty much his what do I say partner his protector you know uh, in this uh well, it's not too much of a spoiler. You know, from the trailers, he, uh, you know, works with him. Yeah. And he was really good. Uh, he was very fun to watch. Uh, him and, and the woman who played his wife in the movie, uh, oh, yeah. both entertaining. I mean, uh, it was really fun, the interaction between the two and, like, the friendship that develops, which, again, not spoiler, you know, it, it become friends and stuff. But it, yeah. it's it's really charming. I mean, uh, cheesy in a way, sure. But nevertheless, it's right. charming. We enjoyed yeah. it. And just seeing Sonic's point of view with the story and everything yeah. from beginning up until the ending point and everything was just yes, phenomenal. Uh, from his early childhood, like, yeah, on, like, in, in the other on like Green Hill Zone or whatever. Or, or whatever the, world he's from. Or yeah. whatever world or he's from, from yeah. before getting transported over to Earth or whatever. I was in some odd yeah. fashion. I was excited about that scene. Not to give it away, but he was being hunted by a certain race of a certain character we know, which I thought was cool. Yeah. Uh, I'll just leave it there. Oh, a point I want to bring up um, is we're, Sonic was in from the beginning to the end. Like, you know what? A lot of these kind of movies, I'll use a great example, the Michael Bay Ninja Turtles. It focused way too much on the April O'Neil character, oh, Megan Fox. God. Like, there was... Not enough turtles, pretty much. They were hot for the fox. I guess so. But in this, I was afraid. I mean, yes, there was focus on the character, the human characters, but mm -hmm. it didn't over. But it, but it wasn't like, but it wasn't too much. It was mostly focused on Sonic. It made it very clear this is about Sonic. He's on screen almost from beginning to end. Exactly. And that, like, you know what I mean? That, that, that I thought was well done. Okay. Yeah, and just seeing. Like I said, from his point of view of what happened and then growing up later on Earth and such, it definitely brought out the personality in him, and I definitely loved that about the movie. So that oh, yeah. was one of the greatest things. I was, like, at some points, I was feeling bad for Sonic because, I mean, yeah. he's just a little blue fur ball that I would want to pick up and carry home. So that's just me. Oh, I just want to give him a hug. So, Especially now I looking... Really want to give him a hug and everything. Not the way he looked before, but this new design. He's oh, absolutely adorable. I just want to I just want to hug him, and squish him. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, Sonic's farts are rank. Yes. <laughs> Again, see the movie. Yes. <laughs> also, you can have a chili dog on the side with that too, so. Mm, chili dog. <laughs> yeah. I think everybody knows about the chili dogs. Sonic is adorable when sleeping. 
Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, he's a little cutie. <laughs> so adorable. <laughs> All right, let's see. Robotnik is strong with his gloves and interrogation skills. Oh, yes. <laughs> Never did I really think that he'd have such interesting equipment, but he does. Well, the second man we're talking about. Yeah, that I is mean, true. It doesn't look, his, his little androids and stuff he has, doesn't look really, not too reminiscent of what it looks like in the games. He had like a bunch of robot animals. Right. Which they didn't really touch on that, how he no, turned animals into robots. I, I guess they thought too dark for the kids and stuff. Possibly. Maybe. Possibly. But I mean, that's 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 just nitpicking there. Right. As Sonic fans, really. Yeah. But I mean, the technology he had, though, was pretty cool. Like, yeah. in his android he had, like, that would get destroyed. Then he'd have, like, another one coming out of it. It was like that a Russian doll one. effect. Yeah, that's... It was like the Russian doll. You got the big one, yeah. then you open it up, there's a smaller one. <laughs> Even one, like, this size going after him. Like, that was pretty cool to see. Yeah. And to show the extent of his, like, technology and how dangerous it can be. It's still there! I can't get it off! <laughs> oh, yeah. You'll, you'll see what you that. <laughs> yeah. Ugh. But, I mean, yes, it was just... The size of his workshop was pretty good, too, for the size of that truck. Oh, yeah. From the trailer and everything? <laughs> yeah, it's like a little workstation. All right. <laughs> Kudos to you, dude. I mean, if I could have a mobile studio like that, that'd be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Eggman was definitely nicknamed by Sonic in this one. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, I have to see... nudge Zach on that. Yeah, I know. So. He, had, he pointed that out to me. I'm like, oh, yeah. Because, I mean, throughout the movie, they kept referring to him as his actual name, Dr. Robotnik. Do Dr. Robotnik. Robotnik, yeah. And of course, he's the Eggman, and <laughs> of course, my favorite bit with uh, um, Robotnik seeing Sonic for the first time. Wait! Don't hurt him. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> You'll see. It's in the trailer, so we're not it is in the trailer. <laughs> yeah, so. that was a great reaction for when he first saw Sonic. Ah! He was just so shocked. I know, like it's funny. Like this mad scientist, super smart, just seen everything there is to be. And then here he is, surprised by the Sonic creature. Surprise! <laughs> Which is what drove him to his madness. Like, the fact... That's what drove him to madness, seeing something he hasn't seen, something he doesn't know, and something he wasn't expecting for once, because he always likes to be, like, five steps ahead of everyone. Oh, definitely. Yeah, which is... Which explains his equipment. Yeah, his equipment. And, and you, you can see later in the movie, not to give anything away, but you see... I mean, he started off pretty crazy already, but then he really deteriorates into the Eggman oh, we know. Definitely. Like, really, like, you'll see. Won't give anything away. Oh. Let's just say he becomes more, say, recognizable as the Eggman we all know and love. Definitely. We'll put it that way. Yes. Like, towards the end of the movie. Oh, definitely. Mm -hmm. And also at the end of the movie, um, it's sort of like a Marvel film at the end. Yes. Sort of like a Marvel film at the end. I'm not going to get into detail with it. But if you know about, like, how would I say this? Like, the cut scene at the end? How about this? It's a, it's an after credit or mid credits. So There's a mid credit scene. Bingo. Like, uh, Marvel movies had a mid credit, sometimes nice an after credits. There wasn't anything after all the credits, I don't believe. But during, let the credits play a little bit. And there's a scene which, like in the Marvel movies, let's just say... It, a certain uh, gives, somebody. Gives you, gives you a little something. You get to, you get to see that there's going to be a certain beloved character from the Sonic franchise. I'll be excited to see. But that that is all we're going to leave it. Yep. Okay? We're real excited, but we already got our excitement out, so we won't won't spoil that. Yep. So all we can say is if you go to see this in theaters, <laughs> stick, stick to after the credits. Try to avoid spoilers, of course. Of course. Which won't be easy after this weekend. Oh, gosh. Because of everybody on Twitter just saying, oh, good, mm. look at this, look at that, look at this. I mean, hello, oh, there are goodness. people that have not seen it yet. Oh, uh, there's going to be that meme. I loved finding these Twinkies in my lunchbox. Boom, there's a spoiler. So look out for those memes like on Facebook and stuff. Yeah. So, yeah. So, I mean, if you're on edge or, I mean, I can put it this way. You're a Sonic fan, it's a must. You will enjoy this movie. You like movies. Even if you're not a Sonic fan, um... I think there's enough stuff to enjoy about this movie. It Definitely. is a fun, enjoyable movie. Again, it won't exactly be winning any Oscars or awards or anything. I mean, no, I, I mean, basic story, whatever. Uh, Elias can be cheesy here and there, but I mean, not everything has to be an award winner. I mean, right. it's just a fun movie. If you just want to, just want to have a good time, relax, grab it's some a, popcorn. A popcorn movie. That's what it is. Yeah, it, it's it's fun. an award winner in my book. Personally. Well, so, actually... That's we, just personally wise. Well, before we go, let's talk about this topic, video game movies in general. Oh, yes. Oh, real quick, at least. So, 
We all know the disaster that was the Mario Brothers movie. Oh, God. Oh, boy. Bad, bad memories. Oh, the, the, those were supposed to be Goombas. What were those things? Oh, I even that recall. Was, that was awful because basically what they did with movies like that, they just look at a video game and go, oh, look at this video game. We'll go with the basic concept. Then we're going to do whatever we want and say, ah, the hell with you fans. We don't care. We're going to do whatever we want. No. That was a failure there. The Doom movie. Resident Evil movies, kind of okay. Same Street time. Fighter, I was kind of a, oh, Street Fighter. Oh, Street Fighter. Oh, the goalie character. I'm okay. I'm just half dead. How about M. Bison? All dead. <laughs> that's just, I was talking about that. Mortal Kombat movie, kind of fun, but still misses the mark when it comes to the lore of Mortal Kombat. Mm -hmm. Again, not enough stuff for the fans. And that's the number one thing. The number one thing about Sonic, which is the most important. What this did was listen. Listen to the fans of the game. And that's how they ended up with this design. That's what this movie was for at the end. Although, like I said, there's stuff to enjoy about it if you're not a Sonic fan. And, I mean, it's a fun movie to watch, especially bring your kids. But, most of all, this was a love letter to the fans. Like I said, the redesign, not just that. All sorts of, like, nods to the games. Like that hint at the uh, mid credit scene. And there's, uh, just sorts of, stuff, like, the rings were incorporated in there. Oh, and that, like, even in the beginning with the Paramount getting, Picture sign. Yeah, in the Paramount Picture sign, the rings yeah. around it. <laughs> and that's what they did. They made this for the actual fans, which took priority, obviously. Yeah, that of course. took priority, and that's... It took time, but they yeah. nailed which it. Which, arguably, Detective Pikachu kind of did the same thing, too. Yeah. Though, like I said in my other review, I would check out, by the way, review Detective Pikachu. Link in description. Link in description. They, uh, there were, I wish there were a little more nods to the games and the anime and the show and stuff. Which which is what I think Sonic did way, way better. Nods to the games, tons of them throughout. Yeah. It's all in your face, said. And that's what they did. So, um, okay, final verdict. Um, I'll go. So my final verdict, I would argue, as just a movie based on cinema alone, again, I'm, I'm not a professional movie critic, but right. I'll try my best. I he give does it, try, so I, I'll give him that. <laughs> I give it a solid 7 out of 10. But from a perspective from a video game fan, for what they did... <sighs> I'd say I say an eight point solid eight point five, almost a nine. Almost a nine. I, that's just the number I came up with. So straight nine with me, straight nine. They all you're gonna give about a they got it. Point to be okay. They got it down packed. <laughs> so I mean, you know, this was like right. childhood <laughs> in front of my eyes right yeah. here. With He's more one. a fan than I am, so, so. you understand that perspective. Yeah, and I mean, yeah, I've got the necklace to prove it and stuff. So it's like. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, Classic Sonic, baby. Classic Sonic. Hell yeah. Yep. Yeah. Oh, and if you want to mind, reaching back there for my Sonic. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Bear with us one moment. <laughs> Let me just get my necklace back on. Hang on. <laughs> Where did he go? It's right on the oh, side. There he is. Yep. <laughs> there he is. So, everyone. It's been Sonic the Hedgehog. My little Mebo there. Sorry, I done Amiibo unboxing videos. Just thought I might as well bring the Sonic Amiibo out. <laughs> so, yeah. So, that's our impressions of it. Uh, definitely, uh, I think it's worth seeing. Probably the best thing out in theaters right now. Yes, and definitely. It's, and it's doing well, and I hope this is... It, it's had a good opening weekend. It I, is I, at a very good opening weekend. Very good weekend. opening weekend. So, I hope it uh, keeps up the momentum, and I hope this is a good hit. I hope this can make money, get a sequel and everything. I mean, if you're up, please let yes. there be a sequel, Jeff. Please. I know, seriously. So let us I'm know. I'm asking you yeah. kindly. <laughs> so let us know in the comments. <laughs> Did you see it? What'd you think? Are you thinking of seeing it? Um, so please definitely let us know and what your thought, what your thoughts and opinions of are, are and um, yeah. So that was our review, impressions of the Sonic movie. Uh, all right. Well, until next time. This has been Zach Bandicoot. Whoa. And Sonic series number one. Take care, guys. <laughs>